Horizontal aid climbing is a technique which is commonly used to allow traversing the underside of a structure, such as a roof or bridge. Anchors may be fixed eye bolts, but more often we use movable anchor slings. Be sure to have an extra foot loop or etrier and an adjustable lanyard. We begin by ascending the ropes to one side of the aid traverse. Next, we clip in directly to the closest anchor point with both a fixed and adjustable lanyard. Now remove our lanyard from the ascender and attach it to the next closest anchor point. Connect a foot loop to the leading and trailing lanyards. We can now disconnect from the rope system and transfer onto the adjustable lanyard. To begin moving into the traverse, we stand in both foot loops and move the petzl adjust to the anchor point containing the furthest lanyard attached. It is critical at this point not to move the lanyard that is furthest behind in the system and go into one point of contact. Instead, advance the leading lanyard first then the trailing lanyard, followed by the adjustable lanyard. Continue this progression and remember to count the remaining attachments before removing one. Once at the end of the traverse, we attach to the exit ropes with the Petzl ASAP and ID. Then remove any slack in the new system. After conducting one last check, we remove all lanyards from the aid traverse and descend safely to the ground. When performing a horizontal aid climbing traverse using sliding or movable anchors, we need to have three movable anchors, slings, or sliding beam clamps in addition to our extra foot loop and adjustable lanyard. The center sling should be attached with the Petzl adjust. The outer slings should be attached with the fixed lanyards and foot loops. To progress, we slide the outer anchors while our weight is on the Petzl adjust. Then we stand in our foot loops to slide the center sling. When we reach an obstruction, we pass one sling at a time so that two independent points are always maintained. We disconnect the leading sling and reattach it past the obstruction. Then we attach our crawl to the leading lanyard and pull the slack through. We transition our weight onto the leading lanyard by unweighting and releasing the adjust. Now we disconnect the center sling and move it past the obstruction. We then transition our weight back to the adjust by pulling the slack through and disconnecting the crawl from the leading lanyard. Finally, move the trailing lanyard past the obstruction.